Hello and welcome to this video. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can create YouTube thumbnails using the AI design, design agents tab. Okay. Now in order to find this tab here you will have to select create design and you want to use the fast AI image designer. Once you select that you will see the tab here called AI design agents. That's the one you want to select and then select YouTube thumbnails. Now uh, with this you've got a couple of options here under step two. You can recreate a thumbnail or you can create thumbnails from the videos that you insert. Okay, so I'll show you what both will look like. So here we can generate a new thumbnail. Now in order to generate a new thumbnail, it's going to say, look, what is a, U a YouTube URL? So for that, I can kind of go to um, YouTube. I can find a video that's related, whatever industry, anything I want to model that I like, I can come, let's say to this one here. Okay, so I can right click and copy the link. because That's a URL. So that's basically the YouTube video link. You can click the video and just get it from the top, um, but that I find this much easier. Once you paste that, you can see straight away that was the thumbnail that we found here. You can see that's from his channel. And we go ahead and select generate prompt. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna have a look at the image and it's gonna recreate it in terms of a prompt in a written format, which you can see here. Now it's done that, you can see, once I have that, guess what I can do? I can go in, I can edit text, I can make additions, update headlines or any information on there and make it mine. Alongside that, I can actually make those single edits if I want, and I can actually copy the prompt itself if I want to come back to it. Uh, so I, I take a copy of it, I can put it in a, a notepad and then you know make any alterations when I see fit or come back later and reuse it or maybe uh, I store it somewhere because maybe I'm dealing with another client that is in a, deal, a similar uh, niche or um, work okay or industry so to speak now with this I can actually select the different styles of the uh, word in terms of aspect ratio but the key ones I want to look at are 16 by 9 perfect for YouTube thumbnails or desktop or TVs and then 9 by 16 is perfect for mobile devices okay for this one we're gonna do 16 by 9 because it's perfect for YouTube and we'll select generate thumbnail once I do that uh, you'll see now it's into processing and we'll give that a few moments to process okay and just like that there we have that thumbnail has been created now the really good thing about this is that sometimes you might not you know uh, even though the thumbnail is ready to go if i decide you know what i want to improve this even more simply select the image view it and select regenerate once you select regenerate it will take us back to the prompt section here and i can recreate it and improve upon it i'll keep everything as is but this time i'm going to put four because you'll give me up to four different variations, which just gives me more choice to choose from and allow AI to be more creative in creating more designs. So what we do, give it a few moments to process. And there we have it. Okay, so now what we're seeing, we've got some really beautiful designs here, okay, from the original. And it's recreated, essentially modeled exactly what we put into the um, the engine. Okay, so I think this one here looks really clean, and even this one looks really good. You can see, look, the contrast and the text and the icons. Very beautiful levels there. Now, if I come back to the design agents, okay, so the first way we saw uh, thumbnails, yes. Uh, let's go back. We saw recreate, but this one, let's create create thumbnails for your video. And what I could do, yes, we had this already. So videos to thumbnail. Let's select uh, up to five and select generate. Okay, so that's gone ahead and processed. And uh, just remember, the more you select in terms of quantity, it you may experience a, a slightly longer processing time. Okay, however, here we go. It's given us some nice different versions or variations of thumbnails. Okay, so in terms of these thumbnails, sometimes, you know, uh, depending on the thumbnail in question, it can slightly differ, but you know, there's some really good thumbnails here. We can go in and we can regenerate and we can actually update or tweak the information to so it becomes even better and aligns with our text and graphics. Okay, and that is how you would create YouTube thumbnails.